Hey everybody, how's it going? So we're going to do something different. It's December 2021 and just in case you've been living under a rock. Thor Park have just dropped the news. They are building a hypercoaster to replace Logger's Leap. And now the public consultation is going on so there's very few details that are out there. But like a true nerd, I've taken those details and I've thrown it into Planet Coaster and this is what you can see. So this is the concept imagery that I can come up with using all of the details for Thor Park's new roller coaster, Exodus. It's probably not perfect, it's probably not a spot on, but it's it's good enough. <laughs> so, editor me in the future, stick an image on screen of the plan. So as part of the uh, consultations, they have released a, a site plan or like a planning application plan that gives you a top down view of the roller coaster. Um, and this is as close as I think we're going to get right now until we start seeing the more detailed plans of height and different elevations and stuff. So this is what I think it's going to be. Uh, the coaster itself is 72 meters tall. Doesn't mean to say that the first drop is going to be 72 meters, but it's 72 meters tall. Uh, we think it's going to be a Mac, but looking at the plans and everything, as I said, it's December 2021. We don't know who the manufacturer is, but looking at the plans, there's four uh, manufacturers in contention. It could either be Mac, Interman, Vacoma, or RMC. Um, it's definitely steel. That was confirmed at the consultation that I was at. Uh, it's steel, not wood or hybrid, um, because we were talking about noise and we were talking about some of the stuff that they can do to put the uh, to put noise and everything to bed. So let's do a real quick talk. I'm not going to do a full analysis video, by the way. You're going to find other YouTubers that are going to do an awesome job at doing that. This is just me going, I need to tell you that this is what this looks like and it's an amazing piece of kit. <laughs> so I'm not under embargo for this, by the way. The stuff that I always tell you I'm under embargo, that's not a thing. So anyway, let's get on with this. Uh, so we've got the station itself uh, and we come out of the station and we come into an outer bank turn. So there we go, outer bank turn. I've made some assumptions about this because like I say, we don't have the topography, we don't have the side imageries or anything. So I've made the assumption that the lift hill is going to be around 35 to 40 degrees and at a certain speed and that the first drop is around 78 to 85 degrees. That's the assumption I've made. I don't know if I'm correct or not. So just have that in mind. Uh, and then we come to the first drop. So it twists around on itself and it actually goes underneath itself uh, under the, the lift hill. We then come into a stall turn and we come down into uh, uh, like an airtime an airtime drop. And then we come into this really, really awesome outer banked turn that goes into some kind of zero G roll. It's the weirdest thing to look at on a plan. So it's going to come down here, it comes up this way, and then it comes out and around, and then it twists down on itself. And then this is where the plans are a little bit murky, because the imagery that we've got is really, really patchy and sketchy at best. So we think it comes into a, um, a wave turn, and then into an Immelman. But there are some theories out there that suggest that it actually goes up into a stall turn, and then comes back down, or a stall loop, whatever they're called, a sidewinder, uh, and then comes back down into the splash zone. So based on the information and the evidence that I've got to hand, let me just show you this one. Look, so it comes around on the outside, and then loops down on itself. Uh, so yeah, based on the information that I've got to hand from the plans and what we were talking about last night, I believe it to be an Immelman. So I'm going to stick with an Immelman for now, but obviously I'll update this. Then it comes down into the splash down, and then it comes into a second one of these outer banked roll turn things. I don't even know what they're calling it, but this one's taken a, a seemingly a higher speed because it's at a lower, a, a lower drop. And then we come round into a bend, into the final hill, and into the brake run. I'm guessing there's going to be three trains. Might not be. Might just be the two trains. Um, but yeah, so this is this is the train as it's leaving. Then it's going to come up into the stall turn, and then we're going to come down into the into the drop. Then it comes around this way into some kind of whatever, into a wave turn, into the Immelman. There we go, Immelman. Down into the splash zone. Splash, 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 and then into the final turn, which is a zero G here, and then into a turn down here. So you can see all of these inversions and stuff actually happening 
on the plan um if you can decipher it and the reason i think by the way that this is in in Immelman because on the plan the lower part of the track goes underneath the top part of the track so that's why i believe it's an in Immelman. but anyway guys this is just a real quick video i've thrown together uh, so just before we go for a ride on this one i wanted to give you a bit of a side profile to see what this thing is going to be like from the side please don't think that this is the entirely accurate version because we don't have enough detail to be able to do an accurate version yet this is just my interpretation of the plans the pacing is going to be all wrong the sizes are probably all wrong the distances are all wrong but do you know what it's our best guess as to what we've got in december 2021 so guys let's go and take a ride on exodus